Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as Venezuela. So we are slowly, and very slowly, working our way up the food chain internationally. Take a sip of my coffee there. Now we're getting more coal production facilities, or sorry, coal power plants up and running. Each one should give us an additional hundred and a bit to our power. So we're probably going to bump up just above, just above 3,900, I'm hoping. I'm also tempted to turn on the ability for my... member here to yeah we're gonna stop buying if we go below 100 million I'm gonna turn on uh, I'm gonna issue a bond or I'm actually gonna turn our minister on so we can take bonds Well, maybe it was turned around. Well, we're good for those for now. I don't want to buy any industrial goods. Uh, metal. Too hard to get to over there. What is this? If I get a thing of ore, how much do you do a day? You do 500 possibly max a day. Or yearly. Uh, so we'd say about 100, 100 tons a day. So we would need 10 ore mines. So down there is where we'd want to go. Or here and here, so... We're going to build up those eight. I'm also going to tell our minister, hey, you can take out loans. We got a lot of stuff stockpiled. Rubber is going to be a problem until we can do it. That should be fine. I can't see us spending many, many days in here. Oof. 47 days versus 46 days. Okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, I did get a little concern there but uh, I think he's been taking out loans to help yeah to kind of offset things a little bit I'm gonna tell him to stop taking loans out so in 30 days We'll have all those built up. Yeah, I guess see. Oh, yeah. I'll actually agree to sell you oil. Sure. Much closer till we get the power grid up and running. Fifty percent boost to our power grid in anywhere from two to five years. Ow, that sucks. In the meantime, my power grid is. How short are we? We are 115 kilowatt hours. Is it kilowatt hours? Uh, I'm just going to say kilowatt hours for now. It's probably megawatts. What, is it megawatts? Yeah, megawatt hours. Well, we'll get things going. We'll get things going. 
We got this. We got this. It's going to be a little sketchy and really, really close and down to the wire here and there. But uh, I think we'll do fine. This should obviously put our, our metal production, our metal ore production, into a very, very good spot where we'll be pumping out this stuff left, right, and center. Then what I might do is go ahead and start building. Oh, there we go. There's three of them. And that's almost... So we just got three, and we're already... Look at that. They're all up and running, and we are good to go. Four ore now. Okay. So the next big step still is more oil. Or uh, more... Something else is going on in the game that's causing it to slow down. Um, I also turned off... I want to mention... Um, the 3D uh, terrain and it came back on its own. At least I think it did. I don't mind the 3D train. It's okay. I just, it's not important. Uh, we're good there. Uh, so we need power. Hmm. Over here, we're going to build more coal power plants. Once we can get our coal power plants up, or our, our power situated a lot better, we're going to be just giggling like little schoolgirls every, the entire way to the bank. Um, I'm actually contemplating changing up this and adding in synthetic rubber, actually. Synthetic rubber, how long would it take you to be researched? Yeah. Let's actually research you first. We're going to swap those around. I was going to say yes to all those military units. I'm also going to go back to our little minister and say, yeah, wow, he took three loans the second I turned that on. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. So we're going to be pretty, pretty dead heavy at the beginning of this, game, this playthrough from the looks of it. Well, we get uh, our country situated. Then it's just a matter of paying off our debts. We're still losing money here. I mean, it's like one day we're making money, the next day we're losing money, so... Oh, I just agreed to the wrong one. Uh, I'll sell you oil for sure. I agree to the Japanese one, I'll sell you other oil. Selling oil. It's a good way to make money. Oil's still at four dollars a barrel. Military goods, meh. Can we? As long as we're producing everything under. So the only thing that we're producing, oof, metal's only a dollar. We're actually, it's costing us more to produce coal than it is to sell it. Yeah, same with agriculture too. So we're really not going to do much with agriculture for a while until things kind of get going there. But you, in 30 days, we'll have six more coal power plants up and running. How is our industrial goods? Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it for, for now. I don't think I need to do much more when it comes to buying or selling industrial goods. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're we're okay with that. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Unless someone gives me a, a lump sum deal, I'll be happy. How is our debt? 
Wow. We have a $2.6 billion debt. Um, yeah, no. Dude. Seriously. It's like, he's like, he's acting like we're made of money. I'm just gonna keep taking money. Like, we're building a lot, so our inflation's gonna be, yeah, our inflation's gonna be pretty high for the first little while of playthrough, mainly because of all the building we're gonna be doing. But, dude, there we go. Six more power plants up and running. Yeah, we're getting there. We're almost, or we're at about half. And we built, what, three, six, 12, 18. So we built 18 power plants. If I build another 18, that will probably put us where we need to be to produce power. Though just building one nuclear power plant, like a like an equivalent, would be like perfect. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start paying back some of these loans. Cause we're now making money. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. Let's do the 106 because it's the least. Not like 100. All right, we'll kind of hold up there for a little bit and uh, make some more money. Okay. So metal's good. Coal's good. Oil's good. Timber is good. Obviously, rubber is something we're going to have issues with. So basically, our main issue right now is power. It's it's just all about the it's all about the power at this point. Where can I build the hydro plants? Build them there. So hold on, we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 28. Hey, my love. What's going on? Oh, okay. Just recording. Okay. So, there's that. We can do two unused. Okay, I'm actually going to disagree with that because I don't want to spend money. Uh, you, Sweden wants to buy oil from me. That's perfect. Uh, consumer goods, why are you... Oh, you're probably your spark. Your problem is probably a lack of uh, of power, right? Well, it's a lack of rubber. Well, once we can research synthetic rubber, things would definitely be going a lot better. Hmm. So much stuff we can do. So much stuff we can do. Which I want to keep in line of sight. Hear anything in the background, anybody? <laughs> anybody? That, that'd probably be my dog. 2.6 unemployment. We only have 5 million people living in the country, right? Yeah, so... Which is weird, because when you actually look at it, so Venezuela is actually pretty big. Now, the funny part is, Venezuela is that big. Canada is this big. We have 30 million. They have 5. We have actually 5 million people living in this area just right here. <laughs> Now, here's the part that actually puts things to scale. Here in Canada, second largest country in the world, 30, actually we think we have 32 million now. 
Well, according to the game, we got 16, but um, we have 32 million now. State of California has the same amount of people we do. So, go figure. Alright, so we only have 5 million people, so we're probably going to have issues down the road with troops. Like right now, we've only got 31,000 troops in reserve. We don't have enough troops right now to even build facilities if we wanted to. So that's going to be a major concern down the road if we want to play uh, Peacekeeper and stuff. And it looks like uh, North Vietnam is going to be taking out uh, South Vietnam very soon. It looks like we'll have a, a Vietnam, uh, North Vietnam uh, victory here in, uh, in Southeast Asia. Well, they're losing more and more and more. Oh, World Market Advisors. So Laos is probably going to be falling very, very soon. Um, then I, I'm going to assume Cambodia is going to fall next and then South Vietnam. And then it's just a matter of the computer coming to terms with what's happened. Of course, if Russia just keeps uh, going to war with everybody, um, who knows what's going to happen, right? I mean, they've gone to war now with just about everybody. Like they, they're, let's see, they're at war with... Yeah, so they're at war with uh, Spain. So they're now at war with Greece. It looks like they had a war. They got warships in there, which isn't too bad. I mean, they land troops, right? That gives them territory on both sides of the Bosphorus. Uh, and then they're also going to war with Japan. Now, with Japan, it's mostly naval, and I have a feeling it's going to be mostly naval with Greece and Spain as well. Um, only problem there is that both Greece, Spain, and Japan have the United States as an ally. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, actually, they have no allies. Spain, how about you? You have no allies. Oh. Interesting. So. No, NATO's right there. Okay. So, I mean, NATO exists. It's just Greece isn't a member of NATO at this point. Yeah, Greece is not in there. <laughs> so it's actually just NATO itself. Um, actually, I don't even think Spain is actually in there either, right? Yeah, Spain isn't even a member of Portugal. Is. Uh, I remember a couple countries, it was very awkward, like when NATO first started out. So it was kind of funny how it's all situated. So you got Spain, though, is western leaning it's not a member of nato yet but it will it would it would go uh it would go nato later on when it no longer was a dictatorship because i say it's still franco okay but that's going to be the end of this episode thanks for watching everybody uh, don't forget as well, we got the Australia campaign playing on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Or, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thanks for watching. See you then. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.